Hello and welcome to part three of my top 10 new US states that I visited in 2022. As I realized, um, and I put on the uh, graphics of the previous show, I've actually went to 21 states in 2022, not 20 as I put on the first video. Uh, for some reason, I totally forgot about Pennsylvania, which I've already been to, uh, but I went again uh, in 2022. So anyway, we've got the next two items up on the list in this video, so enjoy. Number four, Dallas, Texas. I visited Dallas in Texas for the podcast movement conference this year primarily, and it was stupidly hot because it was August, so temperature was in the 90s. However, I did get a chance to visit several attractions, so I know there's a lot more that I could have visited in the Dallas Fort Worth area, I just didn't have enough time. Now the Reunion Tower isn't that high and it's not that impressive, but you do get a reasonable view over the Dallas skyline. And it's an interesting complex of buildings with a hotel underneath it that you can visit, so it's, it's reasonable. I wouldn't go out of my way to visit it, but it's a reasonable attraction. So the grassy knoll is a little little bank of grass on the side of the road around near where John F. Kennedy, the president of the US, was assassinated in the 1960s. And this particular location is where a number of the conspiracy theories about that assassination suggest he was actually shot from. So probably worth visiting after you visited the Dealey Plaza Museum just to get an idea of the context first because there's lots of stuff in that museum before you visit the grassy knoll. So the sixth floor museum at Dealey Plaza is all about John F. Kennedy, President of the United States assassination and it's in the building known previously as the Book Depository where it's alleged that Kennedy was shot by the Harvey Oswald and there's a large exhibit and you can see the out the windows where he's supposed to have shot John F. Kennedy and there's also large exhibits about all the conspiracy theories all the investigations after the Kennedy assassination I have to say it doesn't paint a convincing picture that the original narrative is actually correct definitely leads you down the idea of thinking there was maybe a conspiracy theory but now I suppose that's why people visit the museum they're definitely worth going to. It's slightly on the expensive side of the museum. Next up, we have the George Bush Jr. Presidential Museum. So I visited a number of the presidential museums and libraries in the US, and this is one of the better ones. It's obviously the most recent president that you can visit a presidential museum for. Obama's one isn't finished yet and I don't know what's happening with Donald Trump's presidential museum. So it's obviously got quite a modern take on it. Every one of these presidential museums has a certain amount of bias towards the president that it represents. But even so, it's quite interesting to walk around this and to find out about how he reacted to September the 11th. And also, there's a lot of care that's gone into this particular museum closest one I can think of is Harry Truman's Museum in Independence, Missouri, which has a similar amount of care to given to it. And I was told by a guide inside the museum that George Bush Jr. will actually be buried within the grounds of his presidential museum in the same way that Harry Truman was. And the other good thing is that you can go in and actually sit inside the replica of the Oval Office in this presidential museum. Again, this is not true for every other one. They've all got a copy of the Oval Office as it was in their day, but most of them don't let you interact with it anyway. And this one let have photographs taken and for a fee. And, and you can walk around and interact with the exhibits a lot more in this one than some of the other ones. Number three, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I have to say I was quite surprised by how many good things there were to do in the Milwaukee area. 
as well as the attractions listed here there's lots of good food markets and restaurants in the central milwaukee area and there's a very nice waterfront area with lots of statues and arts in it as well so it's definitely a surprisingly good city to visit milwaukee public market is a fairly smallish but quite appealing food market in downtown milwaukee and i just really like the vibe of the place it's a really nice little food market area in the middle of Milwaukee. Certainly worth a visit. Now the Groman Museum is a museum that is based about the concept of work. So most of it seems to be a series of paintings and sculptures. It's actually a really great building in itself to visit, but they tell you to visit the rooftop first where there's a quite impressive set of sculptures of various people in various work poses. And then you go down from there through each level, and each level is a series of paintings about particular work themes. And it's fairly interesting. I mean, it's not the most exciting museum in the world, but it's certainly worth a visit. To begin with, the Milwaukee Art Museum is in a fantastic building on the lake shore. But inside the, it, the actual fairly amazing building that it's in, there are lots of very good exhibits to go and see. It takes quite a long time to go around the whole museum, which has several sections and several areas. So it's definitely amongst the best of this kind of art museum in the US. The Harley Davidson Museum is quite an impressive museum, obviously about Harley Davidson and its motorcycles. I'm not a particular fan of motorcycles or motorcycling and I thought the museum was impressive so I'm guessing for somebody who is a Holly Davidson fan this would be the number one attraction in the city and it's certainly very impressive the wide array of motorcycles and exhibits they have about the Holly Davidson brand and motorcycles so certainly recommend going to this very narrowly, the Milwaukee Public Museum was what I consider to be the best attraction I saw in Milwaukee. The Holly Davidson Museum and the Art Museum were very good as well. And on probably a different day, I might have picked them in a different order. But the thing about the Public Museum is it's, a, it's massive and there's so much in it. Now, is it one of the very, very best museums in the US? Probably not. But is it a very, very, very good regional museum? Yes, it's fantastic. And they've got so much stuff in there. It's a little... I would, the only criticism I have is some of the exhibits are a little bit on the older side. But they've got a whole recreation of Milwaukee in the... I think it was like the 18th century or something like that. On one of the floors of the museum. It's just a really big museum with lots to, to see and do in it. So, yeah, I really like this museum. I wasn't expecting anything quite as big or as impressive as this particular museum. Thank you for watching this video. And as with the previous ones, if you want to see the next one, and uh, it's a little while after I've released the show, so you can actually watch the next one, uh, you can find that ooh, up, up here. It's always mirrored. So this video should be up here as a little card, uh, depending on where you're watching it. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.